make tutorials through here and now I'm going to show you how to do a gunshot effect in Adobe Premiere Elements 9. But you have your footage. Now in mine, I have the part where I am actually sliding the cock back, so I have a special sound for that. You don't need to do it, but I think it adds a little more to it. So I'm going to play it. Right, right there. Drag a little bit. Alright. So now you're going to go forward until you have the part where you're jolting back. Alright. And then right there, cut your clip. Go forward with the right arrow key. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go four frames forward and I'm going to cut it. We're going to be working with this middle section right here. Alright, now drag your muzzle flash onto track 2, right above it. Go into edit and get the luma key effect. And drag it onto the muzzle flash. Now as you can see, the edges are sticking out a lot. So go into edit effects and drag the cutoff really far. And so it's just crisp how you want it. Now go into motion and make sure that the big part of the flash is the part near the gun. So size it down and drag it to the tip of the gun. Go forward maybe one or two frames. I'm going to go one and then cut that and get rid of the rest of the muzzle flash. Alright, now, right where the muzzle flash happens, you're going to get your gun sound. And drag it right under it. Now you can watch it to your liking. My muzzle flash wasn't big enough, so I'm going to drag it out just a little bit. Then go until you see how you like it. Alright, that was good. Right, now we're going to add smoke. So take your smoke shot. Make sure it's on a black so you can luma key it out. And drag it right onto track three. If it has audio, mine is audio for some reason. Just delete it. Now go into effects. Use the luma key on it. Alright, as you can see, it's a little like fogged out. So go under your effects and go to auto color and drag it on. Now you can play with it as much as you want until you get the desired color. Now, mine's going down, so I have to use a vertical flip. Go back, motion, and drag it right to the nozzle of the gun. Now you can re-watch your clip, see how much you like it. And after that we're going to do lighting. That was pretty good. Let's watch it again. Now we're doing lighting. 
Okay, for the lighting, go on to the normal clip, none of the effects. And then just go into lighting effects and drag it in. Alright, now you're going to choose spotlight. And you're going to want to drag it pretty much around the area that your muzzle flash is in. And then move it around until you feel that it's on the areas that would be lighted if you were to shoot it. I'm not very good at lighting, but I'm giving you the basic idea. Move it around. Basically, I'm lighting up everything because I'm not a professional. It's not probably not going to look that great, but once again, we're just amateurs. It doesn't have to look awesome. Alright, watch it back. And there you have it. 